Hey everybody, hope you're having a great and wonderful day. I know I am. It is release day for 2021 Stadium Club. I Stadium Club every year is one of my, probably my top five favorite um, uh, card series and sets. Um, so I just love the photography. We obviously know that this is just super heavy on the photography. The pictures, pictures look amazing. And uh, very minimal what's on the front. It really lets the picture shine. And so they really do have some cool ones. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this, seeing what it is. Um, here's the box. We have Christian Yelich on the front this year. Um, and uh, you get two, look for the chrome cards and the parallel cards. There's tons of parallels, the red foil, black foil, all that kind of stuff. And then there's also usually a chrome card in there. Um, I think if you get lucky, I don't think they're guaranteed. And then two autographs in every box, which is really cool. And I'm pretty sure it has a box topper on the top too. I don't know if it, I think it might be an oversized card this year, but let's get started. Um, like I said, this is just a super, super favorite one of mine. And so I'm looking forward to this right here. I'm excited about this one. Um, you guys been able to get some. So here we go. So there you go. Like I said, right on top, it is, if I can get back here, it is a uh, Hank Aaron oversized, what, like an eight by 10, maybe something like that. Um, here's the back of it. It just looks like a big, huge um, card. I am not a huge fan of the oversized cards. I, I buy a couple of them, put them in a frame if, of like players that I like. But then when I get a player that's just like, uh, I don't really collect or anything, I uh, end up, uh, they're really hard to sell because they're really hard to ship. But um, very, very cool though. But this is the design. It's just got this little bit of a name down here uh, in a color and then just a very simple font down there. And I, I do, I really dig that, the simpleness of that. So that was pretty cool. Um, what do we get? I think there's like, well, how many packs in here? 16 packs, eight cards per pack. And like I said, I am ready to go here. So let's get started. Um, kind of seems like a throwback there with Christian Yelich on the front. Um, <laughs> uh, he's back a little bit, but he's just, it seems like, uh, you know, when he was real hot there with Milwaukee, he used to be on the cover of a lot of things and now haven't seen him in a while. And I feel like there's a ton of other players that probably could be there, but let's get going. There's the package. Uh, here is the odds and stuff. If you guys want to look at that. Don't really do that very often, but boom, there you go. Pause that. Let's get going. All right. So there you go. Um, I did watch a little bit of some opening and um, a lot of like just batters batting, not some of those unique, unique ones, but you can just tell the photography is super high on these. Um, just beautiful pictures. Juan Soto there. There's the front. Here is the back. Um, pretty cool. I like the back this year. Um, looks sort of similar, but uh, definitely um, pretty nice, nice and clean. Uh, there's a Cisco Sanchez rookie. Those are the ones that I kind of like. Someone, they kind of get into the personality of uh, a player, um, just kind of like a little bit of a, a difference there. Um, we obviously have a lot of, one of the big stadium club things that uh, they're known for is um, a lot of not only the newer players, but uh, so a lot of the older players as well. And they like to take these pictures. It looks like um, this is probably a black and white maybe. And then they kind of like uh, color it. Um, that's what it looks like to me, but it's pretty cool. Um, pretty awesome. Then they got these backwards ones here. Um, I think this will usually be your, these are kind of sticking. Uh, let's see. So we got us, uh, oh, that's cool. That's something I didn't, oh, that's a cool one. Look at one. Man, if they would have gone with that design, that would have been cool too. I like that. A little bit of baseball. I like the uh, A's logo up there in the top. Um, but this is obviously an insert of Ricky Henderson. We got us uh, Matt Chapman. What a cool picture. Really, really cool. Steven Strasburg. Brandon Lowe. Or Lau. I think it's Brandon Lau, right? And then a Sunny Gray. So pretty much just a, uh, you will get either like a, a insert or you will get um, a parallel card in a pack. So we got that insert, that Ricky Henderson one, that's cool. Nice Jacoby Jones. 
There's a Lou Gehrig. And I don't think there's anything super special about the black and whites. I don't think there's anything that's not numbered or anything. I think it's just every once in a while they'll have black and whites. I think, let me check real quick. Oh, it is a, okay. So it is a hobby only, black and white. They're not numbered, but uh, that's a hobby only one. Very, very cool. Lou Gehrig. Dee Dee. Let's flip these around here. Got some Babe Ruth with a big, huge uh, bat, and that's a, uh, that's a red foil. Really, all you can change, see is the red there and the red on the name. Um, and then just Babe Ruth holding the world's biggest bat. He probably still could hit a home run out of there. Nothing different on the back about the red foils. There's an Aquino going up. I love those right there. Uh, not that he has been doing all that well, but uh, um, really cool picture there. Casey Mize, rookie. Very cool. Got a nice uh, Luke Voigt. And then Juan Mikado throwing somebody out there at first. I don't know how about you guys, uh, about your baseball teams, but man, I am. The Cardinals are in such a slump. They are heading towards the cellar. They are not good. Uh, so there's another one. Another black and white. Ty Cobb. Um... But man, they have really, they can't hit. They cannot feel, or they cannot pitch. Um, they're having some serious issues, and uh, that's a cool one. Um, probably looking to, uh, <laughs> this season could be lost if they don't do something or change things around. Now, they've been hit pretty bad with the uh, uh, injury bug, but it's still, man. I mean, uh, Goldschmidt, Arenado, uh, just not hitting, and uh, those are the big guys in the middle there. Um, really like the uh, um, Tyler O'Neill. There's another red foil, Clevenger. Um, really like uh, uh, Tyler O'Neill and what he's been doing, but he's actually cooled down too. Um, he's been a nice surprise this year, and we've been waiting for it for him to to come on. Nice. Um, what you doing there, <laughs> there, man? <laughs> They're getting a big a picture of him not, um, I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to, like, focus it in right there. What's he doing, man? Adjusting. Being a baseball player. Um, but, yeah, I don't know how the Cardinals turn it around um, other than waiting for some of, like, clarity to come back. and um, But I don't know. They just are not hitting at all. Really cool one right there. Don Mattingly. Always a, f uh, a favorite of everybody. Um Really doing pretty good down there managing the Marlins. Speaking of Arenado, very cool. Um, I know he's had some Cardinal cards, but this is probably one of my first ones that I've pulled, I think. My memory's terrible, but um, I'm just really with him in a Cardinals uniform with the logos because I don't know if there was a Panini one. Um, but very cool. Glad to kind of get some Arenado cards in Cardinal gear, not in the Rockies gear. Um, so a repeat of Babe Ruth, unless that's something that I'm just not seeing. Mitch Keller, Nick Senzel, uh, the best pitcher on the planet right now, and Jacob DeGrom, and that is a black foil. His picture last year was awesome if you hadn't seen it. Uh, it's like him on the mound, and I think it was him, or it was Syndergaard. I'm not 100% sure, but um, the guy is a beast. I mean, when I look him up the other day, he had a .50 ERA. Absolutely insane. Montessi there. The guy's pitching out of his mind there. He is uh, just amazing, and he gets better with age. Um, still looking for two autographs. Um, not a lot of packs in this, so it should be coming up probably pretty soon. There's a Chipper Jones. I grew up, um, in Georgia and South Carolina, and, um, before I became a Cardinals fan, um, I really did like the Braves. The AAA Braves were in, um, the town that I grew up in, Greenville Braves at the time, and we were, we'd go to a couple games, but I always really liked Chipper Jones, uh, you know, Del Murphy kind of before him, and, I always kind of like the Braves, and they're good. I still cheer for them. I just, they happen to come up against uh, 
the Cardinals last year in the um, playoffs. So there's our first auto right there. There's after each hero. It is a rookie card of Ryan Jeffers. I've never heard of him. Looks like he's on Minnesota Twins. What I like about these two, they're always almost always on on card. Uh, hitting off the tee there. So what is he, a position? Oh, he's a catcher. Okay. So pretty cool. That's our first auto right there, rookie autograph. We'll have to see how he does in his career. Um, looks like we got another insert card. Um, virtual reality. Luke Voigt. There's the back of those right there. That's pretty cool. Not seen that before. Got it. Randy Arozarena. I wonder if that is, looks like it, probably from that game um, there in, what is it? Was it game six? Game five or six of the, uh, that series where he, uh, where, are they, I don't know. I can't remember now, but it was, uh, it was an awesome game. I think that's the picture from that. Really, really cool. Andrew, Randy Arozarena. Not the tearing up the baseball world like he used to be, but turning into a pretty solid player. And there's Jorge Soler, who is, um, you know, definitely known for his defense, uh, jumping up and robbing that. Yeah, not really. Um, but his bat has been pretty slow this uh, year, too. All right, so let's see. Let's see what else we get. We got Ryan Sandberg there. Will Myers, very, very cool. Standing for, like, the MasterCard logo. Carlos Correa. Boo. I, I don't know. I don't. Sorry, Astro fans. Here's the Hank Aaron and a small mini card. Buster Posey. He was, uh, he is absolutely killing it in the all-star vote for, uh, National League catchers. He is, um, leading very much over, uh, Yachty. But it seems like those are probably be the two guys to get it. There's a red foil, DJ LeMayhew. Chris Bryant. And uh, Marcus Stroman. So as you can see, the pictures on these are really, really cool. I, I'm going to say that there's been some really cool ones in here, but a lot of them are just uh, the pictures, the picture, uh, picture player standing there. I feel like there's one on the back, but there is not. Justin Dunn, who seems to be in almost everything. There's a Devin Williams. There's another Cardinal, Paul DeYoung. Make a little jump. He is absolutely struggling this year um had an okay spring training i thought he was going to turn it around but this year I, I think he's batting like 168 after he's come back from uh injury it's just not very good there's a thurman munson a john means we got a die cut of fernando tatis jr triumphant oh no try try I don't even know how to say that word. Um, but very cool. I'm not a big, huge die cut fan, but that's if you're going to get a player, uh, you might as well get uh, Fran, uh, Tatis. Uh, Grinky, and then a Scooball rookie card. Got quite, quite a few packs left here, maybe eight or so. There's a cool Jackie Robinson. Very, very cool. There you go. Mike Trout. Definitely uh, still the man. Mike Trout cards are... Um, never hurts to pull a Mike Trout card. There's the big hurt, Frank Thomas. It's pretty awesome. Tony Goslin. Tyler Stevenson, rookie. He's a big dude, man. He uh, saw him play a little while ago. 6'4", 225. Can't imagine. Um, there's a black foil. Bogarts, who is having an amazing season. Uh, was watching a Red Sox game. He was batting cleanup for them. and um, he, is, he was my vote for the uh, ML All-Star game at shortstop. And he was leading last time I checked, too. So... It's really cool. I, I, I'm so glad. I, I get that you want to see, like, all your favorite team. But 
I'm not a guy that just runs down the list and just clicks all the Cardinals. I really do try to look at the stats, and I think the best player should play in the All-Star game for that year. So, And, and that's what it kind of reflects, at least the last time I checked. Um, was just, you know, the best players are getting picked, and um, just really want to see it. We should talk about the ML um, All-Star game um, uh, uniforms. Have you guys seen those? If not, uh, maybe I'll throw a picture up real quick. And you guys can look at it. Um, what do you think? Um, you know, they were getting blasted in this article that I was looking at. But I don't know. I don't hate them. Um, the hats are pretty cool. Um, the uniforms are, you know, I, I don't know. I kind of I kind of dig them. I, you might think that they're completely ugly. Um, but the weirdest part is that the talk is that they're going to be actually worn in the all-star game. So that's what I've always hated about MLB. The show is that every time you go to the all-star game, every player's in uh, the all-star uniform. And then in real life, they actually play in their real uniforms. And this year it looks like it's going to be different. They're going to wear them during like the home run derby. And then they're going to, or they're going to wear their regular uniforms during the home run derby and all that kind of stuff. And then they're going to um, wear these during the actual all-star game. So, it will be a little bit different, um, and we will see. There's a Robin Yount. Very cool picture right there. I just always remember Robin Yount as being more of an outfielder. Um, I didn't get to watch a ton of them, but he obviously was what started as a shortstop. Um, Nate Pearson rookie. Jeff McNeil, red foil. Nice Alec Baum rookie. Is it Bohm? Alec Bohm. Um, I don't watch a lot of Phillies games, even though I really like Bryce Harper and my son's a Bryce Harper fan. We just don't sit down and watch a lot of the games, but, uh, I've heard that he is not killing it the way that, uh, most people thought he was going to be killing it. But man, I, I do see, I feel like a lot of these guys get rushed up and then, um, they struggle and then they kind of pick it up in this year two, year three. Um, we'll see that if that's the same about, um, Alec there. Um, that's a really cool one. I love that, man. If I was a Mariners fan, man, you want to talk about like getting a big one like that? Like the Hank Aaron, like, oh, that would be so cool as a Mariners fan with a big logo and a Kyle Lewis in the front. That's really, really cool. There's Mark Canna. Really good, like under, under, uh, under uh, valued player there for the A's. Uh, Longoria. Guess Todd Tees upside down. Oh, I thought that was going to be something awesome. Uh, but it's a really cool card. And there's our chrome. It's a Walker Bueller. The chromes look really nice. I know there's, I obviously last year they came out with Stadium Club Chrome. Um, and I actually almost liked the, I think something, sometimes the chrome does something to the actual cards. Um, and I didn't feel like the chrome was all that great looking uh, compared to the regular ones even though they were awesome and uh but this looks really really nice in chrome there's the back so you i mean you can't even really tell it's a chrome unless it says chrome on the top but uh really cool walker bueller there and these sometimes stick together oh there's a cool one look at that the inserts are really nice this year top stadium club Derek jeter the back kind of looks like the same as the other one, but uh, yeah, that's really cool. I like the inserts this year. Uh, Tanner Malk, Hawk, Hawk, Hawk. <laughs> you uh, Boston fans will uh, kill me there. And I like that one a lot. Uh, Sano, I don't like him as a player. Love the blue uh, uniforms for the Twins. I think if you watched the video before, you know that by now. Probably tired of me saying it, but I just really do. Um, very, very cool one. So the one, two, three, four, five, six more. Um, yeah, I take a little longer on these because I really like looking at each picture. So we'll see if we can speed it up a little bit, but these are really nice. Trevor Bauer. Dane Dunning, a rookie card. Look at that one. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. I don't think they have short prints or anything. I think this is just a regular card, but man, look at that one. That was so cool. Yeah, that's just a, just a regular card, but I love that. Greg Maddox, like I said, man, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, um, John Smoltz, 
I mean, those kind of those th that three headed picture pitchers that they had when the when the with the Braves was really really cool. So as a Braves fan, that's a really awesome as well. If you are a Braves fan, that would be really cool. If you like your Braves history, uh, we got us uh, Ryu and we got us a Yachty for my youngest son. Oh, I like that one. That one's really really cool. Man, hoping that the Cardinals will be able to turn it around soon. Uh, David Wright, red foil. Whit Merrifield, giving the sign over to his shortstop. If Who's going to cover on that double play? That's really cool. If you've never played baseball, uh, that's what they do most of the time. They kind of uh, um, do that open uh, mouth there. I think that's like a you cover or I cover. I'm not sure. I think they might change a little bit, but uh, it's pretty cool to catch that. And then there's Altuve. Got a couple more here. I'm really looking forward to the All-Star game. I really missed it last year. Um, you know, there's not much to it, but, um, you, you know, I'm I just, you know, missing the home run derby and, and then the All-Star game. It's just fun to watch all those great players. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it this year since we missed it last year. All right, we got our second autograph. Okay, so... Obviously, a little bit torn. It's a rookie autograph, but it's a pitcher. And it's an awesome. It's Cardinal, but it's a pitcher autograph. Uh, he's I've seen him pitch, too. He's I, I don't think he's going to turn into a superstar. So I won't say probably the best two autographs in, the, in this box, but still, um, that's what you get. Got us another uh, virtual reality of Shane Bieber. And then nice Luis Roberts. So I'm hoping he gets back soon and uh, he uh, starts playing like the Luis Robert that uh, everybody knows that he will. I would just hate to see injuries uh, destroy. That's a cool one. Um, destroy a career of a, a young, young, promising player. Just really hope he turns it around, uh, gets back soon. Uh, Hosmer, Patini. We got us a Jazz Chisholm. Rookie card. Very, very cool. Guys, a Ted Williams. Boston fans will love that one. Sorry, I get back on screen here. Nice Randy Johnson. And then a Ricky Henderson red foil. Man, the Ricky Henderson cards have been really cool. I love that one. I uh, loved watching him steal bases. He was such an awesome base stealer. We just don't see that in baseball anymore. Um, look at that one. That's sick. Roman Laranato going up. Man, the A's are having such a great season. Um, we'll see if they add to their team. A lot of talk about Trevor Story going there. Um, we will see. Uh, there's another guy that's getting a lot of talk about. Uh, I'm, trade, deadline, trade deadline is going to be very, very interesting this year. Uh, um, you know, is Scherzer going to move? Um, is Trevor Story going to move? Um, it'll be really, really interesting. Uh, Matt Olson's killing it this year. What a having a great, great season. Uh, there's Bo Bichette. Guys, the Joey Votto, Clint Frazier. Very, very cool. We got a superstar duo. So I'm guessing there's something on the back of this one. So we got Ronald Acuna Jr. on the front, and I'm going to go with um, Freddie Freeman there on the back. Um, these are kind of cool, but it always seems like it's like, I like the front, and then it's just because they had to put all the stuff on the back, it kind of just seems like it's he's just like thrown on the back. But <laughs> um, we got us uh, Nico Goodrum, Goodrum going up to catch the ball, probably a wild throw. And then there's Kim, rookie cards. Two more left. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Sorry it was a little longer than usual. Um, just love to look at these pictures. Uh, we got us uh, Montas, Roger Clemens, Trent Grisham, doing a hop jump there. We got us uh, Corey Kluber, Willie Castro. We got us a red Victor Robles. Try to get that glare off of there. Verdugo had quite a Boston box. There's Verdugo going back. And Nelson Cruz, who is still doing it. Um, one of the closest guys to my age. And uh, um, he is just absolutely still having a great season. 
Um, with Minnesota struggling, I I just wonder if they would if a team looking for a DH would uh, go out and get him. Um, not sure if he will leave Minnesota. Um, not sure. Reese Hoskins. So here's our last pack. Like I said, thanks everybody for watching it. Um, I hope you guys go get some, grab a box. Um, it's pretty cool. Love the photography on here. Nice Adam Wainwright. Elvis Andrews. Charlie Blackman. Uh, nice black and white. Oh, that's cool. Um, so maybe that. So maybe it's not the black and white pictures of those. Maybe it's these. Um, is this numbered? I don't feel like, I don't think I got a numbered card in here. But maybe that's considered the black and white, not the black and white. Maybe those are just base cards, those other black and white. So there's probably my black and white that the that's the hobby only. Um, Charlie Blackman there. Um, Ian Anderson and then Trevor Rogers rookie who's having a great season there for Miami. So there's our two autographs. We got us a catcher and a pitcher. Get this off the, the there real quick. Um, some really cool inserts. The pictures are good, great at all. I won't say that this is the best best box in the world, but uh, definitely um, some cool, a very very cool product. Um, good luck out there, everybody. Have a great one, and we'll see you next time. Bye.